Back to weather here now. This week's winter storm starting to come to an end. Today's sunshine helping melt that snow out there. And uh, Robert, uh, sir, joining us now and uh, with a uh, look into not just uh, tonight, but later into the week and those temperatures kind of continuing to climb here. We need a break, no doubt. Yes, uh, we do have a moderating trend that is on the way, which will help to melt some of that snow. If you're not a snow lover out there, that snow, uh, most of it could be gone by next weekend. Now, not those giant piles in the you know area parking mall, parking lots in the shopping malls, but uh, you know, in your front yard, most likely. Live look outside to Fayetteville today is a big day for in Fayetteville, where this morning they set a new record low of three degrees, breaking the old record low of four set back in 1985. Warm day in 2019, 74 on this day. Nice and quiet in Fort Smith today. Not nearly as cold because they don't have that deep snowpack, only falling to 18 degrees. Not, nowhere close to that record of 10 set back on this day in 1996. Look at all the snow cover from that storm stretching all the way up to Maine and expanding all the way back to western Texas and portions of New Mexico. And even as we zoom it in for our area, a lot of dark blues and purples here, you know, three to nine inches across basically north of the Interstate 40 in a small area near Bella Vista in the eight to 15 category, probably eight, nine, maybe 10 inches closer to that than the 15. Uh, temperatures right now, everybody in northwest Arkansas has dipped below freezing or is at freezing. Salem Springs still holding on to the freezing mark. So any snow or slush or water has refrozen and there are slick spots out there. So be careful. And in the River Valley, also cooling down now, mostly right around the freezing mark. We are under the influence of this area of high pressure. It will keep things dry and clear uh, for the next couple of days here. You can see tonight. Not a lot of cloud cover out there waking up tomorrow morning. Then we'll have uh, during the evening hours tomorrow, we'll have a very weak front cross the area. Won't do much of anything at all. Maybe just ring out a couple of clouds out of the atmosphere, and that is about it. Won't even affect our temperature. So when you wake up Monday morning, <clears throat> headed back to work or school, we're back into the mid to upper 20s. Lows tonight, upper teens to lower 20s out there. So it'll be another chilly night out there, but we'll rebound nicely back up with all that sunshine, lower to upper 40s across Northwest Arkansas and the River Valley, helping to melt a little bit of that snow. And that melting will really kick in once we get into Tuesday and Wednesday with temperatures in the 50s, even mid 50s by the time we get to Friday, which will be slightly above average. But notice every day, even in the River Valley, for the next couple of days, above and then below freezing, above and then below freezing, so a real long, freeze thaw process here over the next couple of days. So we could still have slick spots over the next couple of mornings. Just keep that in mind. Stick with us right after these messages. We're going to check the world of sports with Miss Jordan Black.